Hello everyone. Today we're going to do another review, but this time it's not Jack White. This time it's All Them Witches. Uh, you've seen them multiple times on my YouTube channel already. Uh, they recently released a new single. It's a cover of a John Lee Hooker uh, song called Black Snake Blues. Um, I really think, once again, that all Them Witches has delivered and showed how versatile and amazing musicians they are at their craft. Um, one thing that I noticed is Alan's keyboard playing through this song where the original in John Lee Hooker, there is no keyboard in this blues. It's um, guitar, bass, and drums. And here, All Them Witches were able to incorporate some amazing keyboarding parts for Alan. Also, they turned a three minute and something some something song into over 11 minutes long with their own take and their own jam. Yeah, they spent the core of the song, but they gave it their own feel through it, in my opinion, as well. Um... If anyone ever gets a chance to see All Them Witches live, I truly definitely think they should go and see them. They are truly great musicians. They're great people. Um, from what I've read online, a lot of people have gotten to meet multiple members of the bands. I did get to meet Parks uh, back in December, and he was a very humbling, nice guy. Um, I feel kind of funny, though, because I stumbled over my words when I got to meet him. Um... I did bitch at him, though, that I wish that they would come and play Asheville, and then a few weeks later they announced additional tour dates, and they're coming to Asheville in March, so I can't wait to see them uh, again and play in March. I wonder if they're going to play this song live um, since they have recently released a new single. Um, they're coming out with a new album called The Baker's Dozen, and they're going to drop a new song every month. Um... Looks like the first one was Black Snake Blues, which, like I already said, is a John Lee Hooker um, cover. Um, if you're not familiar with John Lee Hooker, you definitely should check out his blues. He is a pioneer of the blues industry and music and a great um, inspiration to many musicians from many walks of life and genres of music. Um, once again, these guys have definitely delivered and set the standards even higher for my opinion and they keep on impressing with every release they've done and they are true workhorses in my opinion um they have toured non-stop through the relaunch of the world um they're not afraid of the covid i guess uh they just keep on rocking they keep on adding dates and going further and further and having a good time on the road um I did started doing some research on these guys. Uh, there's not much out there, but from what I gathered in some interviews and some of the Wikipedia and some of the interviews around, uh, that they were formed in Nashville, Tennessee. Robbie, the drummer, came all the way out from Oregon and ended up in Nashville, Tennessee. Somehow Parks and Ben and Alan all met working and going to bars around the Nashville area and connected and built what we see now is All Them Witches. Um, I do know they mentioned in a few interviews that they love touring and they get most of their creative energy from being on the road. Um, but along the same time, they do definitely enjoy their solitude and their time all away from being on the road, which I believe anybody would be after touring nonstop. Um... They hail from Nashville, Tennessee, as I already mentioned, uh, which is a very iconic music town here in the United States, um, mostly in the country, Western era of music and genre of music, but lately it's been becoming more and more rock and blues. Um, hey, it's Music City that's, you know, in Tennessee, it has a lot of history behind it. Um, 
Country Rock and Roll Hall of Fame is there, Jack White is there, and Johnny Cash Museum. Hell, Johnny Cash lived outside of uh, Nashville in Hendersonville, North, uh, Hendersonville, Tennessee. I almost said Hendersonville, North Carolina. Um, but yeah, um, I'm not going to go for the whole 11 minutes of this song. Um, I'm just giving my few thoughts and my feelings of this song, the energy of it, the vibe. They definitely did do justice on this song. Um, I think John Lee Hooker would be quite proud of their rendition and their cover of this song. Um, also coming up in the next few weeks, uh, February is a very short month, so um, I might do a couple of videos honoring our Black History Month of musicians uh, that have been maybe overlooked or forgotten about. Um, I'm also working a lot more hours getting ready for the Super Bowl and a few other parties that I'm doing on the side. So if it takes me a while to get some of these videos up, I'm truly sorry. Um, please check out our Facebook and our Instagram, offthestreetsproductions.com. Um, the links will be in the description. They're also on my info page on YouTube. I also recently started setting up a portfolio page on uh, through Adobe. Um, for my photography anyone out there know how to help me possibly get in touch with some of these bands so i could do some photo shoots with them would be great um i've tried emailing venues i've tried emailing representation and nothing really gets anywhere i understand i'm up and coming and i don't have that many followers and all that other stuff but we're definitely growing i appreciate all the 80 subscribers that we have reached uh it truly is humbling the over 130 people on facebook the 200 and something people i believe on instagram thank you so much for all the support uh a shout out to the all them witches fan group on facebook thank you guys so much for all the support thank you everyone on the jack white page for all the support and all my friends and family that have watched these videos as i've gone over for the past year it looks like I probably will take up the whole 11 minutes while this song goes on. Um, coming up in March, uh, a few concerts and Carowinds launch of the year, then April. Uh, got some more concerts going up to Washington, D.C. I decided to not do the High Water Music Festival. I didn't see justifying paying over $600 for a concert ticket to see Jack White, Black Pumas, and Modus Mouse when I could see Modus Mouse here in North Carolina for like 30 bucks and go to Atlanta or Washington, D.C., where I'm already going to be in April to see Jack for a third of that price. Um, and plus, not to mention how much money I would have spent on hotels in um, Charleston. Yeah, I would love to do this as my day job and everything, but at the end of the day, we all have bills and we have to look at expenses before we do some things. Um, sadly, I don't get paid to do all this stuff. Um, and work constraints too, but my job is very uh, open to letting me do what I want, which I'm truly grateful for. And everybody at my location of Whole Foods and my management team, my leadership team is really great and supportive of also my endeavors with Off the Streets Productions and let me take as much time off as I need to do these ventures within reason, of course. Um, would like to do a lot more ventures this year, would also love to meet a lot of you people. Um, Please like and subscribe, share with your friends, um, help me grow this channel. Um, it's out of love of music, out of uh, love of adventures and life. So um, I'm always going to try to spread a positive vibe. Like I keep on saying at the end of my videos, we're not each other's enemies. Um, we're all on this planet to work together. We really truly need to stop this division between each other. At the end of the day, we're all Americans and we're all human. So let's have some compassion for each other and some understanding. I know it gets hard, but we're quite capable of making things work um, and be respectful of each other. And um, yeah, life beats us down, but it's easier to be nice than mean to people at times. Um, also, when you send out positive energy and you send out positive vibes, you get positive in return. So it's a circle. Um, Definitely um, try to always be better. Try to be uh, a good person. Put your best foot forward. I know you all can. You all are our great people. If no one's told you that, every single one of you are special and have your own unique gifts and, and talents that you can give to the world. So um, peace, love, and remember, we are not each other's enemies. Please check out offthestreetsproductions.com, Off the Streets Productions on Facebook and Instagram. 
Uh, we also did set up a Twitch, so if anyone knows how to possibly shoot me some messages on how to do live streams so they could be streamed to Facebook or um, YouTube when I do them, that'd be great uh, because I still do not have enough uh, subscriptions or subscribers for live feed from events on YouTube. Um, and you and on Facebook, for some reason, they really lower my bit rate and um, the quality looks like crap. So someone mentioned to me Twitch and I looked into it and I'm still trying to figure that all out. Um, but I'm going to close this rant up. I hope you enjoyed my little TED talk here today um, and have yourselves all a wonderful day. And remember, we're not each other's enemies.